Hello, I am Solesh Alfred. Welcome to the HTSE poll. It's your opportunity to weigh in on the most pressing issues of the day. St. Lucia's Governor General, Sir Emmanuel Neville Snack, tendered his resignation from the post of St. Lucia's Head of State on July 28th, the same date of the inauguration of Prime Minister Philip J. Pierre. The St. Lucia Labour Party had been staunchly opposed to the appointment of Sir Neville on the grounds that he had acted dishonorably when, following the second general elections of April 1987, he defected from the St. Lucia Labour Party to the United Workers' Party. This had sparked public interest in the possible successor for Sir Neville. Among the suggested candidates, Lady Janice Compton, the widow of Sir John Compton. So, we ask, is Lady Janice Compton a good choice for the post of Governor-General? We tallied the numbers on our voting platforms and here is how you voted. 61% said yes, 30% said no, and 9% did not know. We also took to the streets to get your opinion and here's what you had to say. Of course she should because I think she has never been in scandal. She's been a disciplined lady, so I think they should give it to her. Oh yes, yes, she's a suitable person for that position because knowing the goodness the husband has done for, 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 for the country and everybody knows the history, I don't see why they cannot put her there. I believe she's a suitable person for that post. Janice should keep away from that completely because look at, taking from the, the fact that the Labour Party was so much in controversy with Janice, Janice's husband when he was the Prime Minister of St. Lucia. The way they treated him, the way they dealt with him up to the point when he lost elections in 1997. They refused him even a parking spot by his own business on the boulevard. And today you, Janice, will accept being Governor General of St. Lucia under the Labour Party. I am I'm seeing that she's not coming there to do anything good for the island. Not that she put implement any good thing in place for any young children or anything. She's just been vindictive. She's a lady that's never been involved in any scandal. Um, she's a good influence on younger persons in society. I believe she could be a good choice for Governor General. Well, yes, because as far as I'm concerned, she's a lady of high caliber. She has good character and she's, her, de de her demeanor is forthcoming. So I say yes, she would be a good governor general. Of course, of course. A lady with a good reputation, she does not have any sins, you know, and so on. I, I don't see nothing wrong in she being a governor general. She has a good record as, as far as I've known. So I think she's, she's quite worthy of being a governor general. I think so. She's a woman of calibre. She has discipline. Why not? Give her a chance. Let us see her ethics. Yes, man. I believe, I believe that's a perfect choice. Man. Perfect choice. You know, in spite of what um, went through with her husband, you know, but tafeta, takiteta, you know, people grow out of things. You understand? I believe she can be a, a very good governor general. I mean, she could implement, um, you know, um, working with the elderly and, 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 and the, 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 the children, you know, the youth. You understand? I believe, I believe she's a perfect choice. Man. Thanks for those responses. Now to our new discussion. The Cabinet of Ministers was sworn into office on Thursday with a few surprises. Among them, former Prime Minister Dr. Kenny Anthony opting out of the Cabinet for now and former Minister and former Prime Minister Stevenson King given major portfolios of infrastructure, ports, transport, physical development and urban renewal. Jeremiah Norbert, the Member of Parliament for Miku North, is not included in the Cabinet for now and will serve as the Deputy Speaker of the House of Assembly. So, we ask, are you satisfied with the composition of the new Cabinet? Voting is easy. Just log on to htsstlucia.org or Facebook at HTS St. Lucia Official and vote. Remember, our EPOL team is always on the go to get your responses as well. Watch the HTS News Force from 7 p.m. for the results and a new discussion.